My name is Jason Wise. I'm the uh, Canton Tea Party organizer, and uh, Matt, it's been a, a, a ride. Um, I have to uh, uh, say that w there's a few successes down in Star County, and uh, I don't think without Matt's help, uh, uh, they wouldn't have been as successful. For instance, Canton now has a conservative on city council. Mark Butterworth won uh, Ward 8 in November. The uh, sales tax increase that the commissioners jammed down our throat, they, uh, that was overturned by vote in November. And uh, I run three businesses and I, I, I'm very busy at times and I want to thank Brian and the Summit 912 for putting this on because as soon as I heard that uh, they were doing this, I canceled everything tonight and uh, made my way up here. But Matt, I've been listening to you since you uh, started on, in the afternoon. Uh, on WHLO, and you always say politics is all local. Well, <clears throat> to give you a little background, in 1993 I first heard you in the morning, and uh, in 1997 I graduated high school, went to the University of Akron, and I majored in radio and TV broadcasting. Uh, I wanted to be news and sports. Well, I found out radio isn't local. Um, so I made a few changes and I started a couple businesses, and, but one thing I wanted to uh, ask you, Matt, is uh, with, with you guys, who's going to help get the word out for the local conservatives in Stark County, in Canton? The Repository? The Beacon Journal? The Mass and Independent? No. Who will question the clowns and their antics in the city of Canton? They have friends on that other station down there, but uh, with, where are our friends? Who will inform the masses when the final numbers are revealed in the Stark County Treasurer's Office fiasco? Will the other station question them? Will the repository? No. Needless to say, the good guys in Canton and Stark County will be losing a voice. I will do what I can. I only have so much time. I'll go to every door in Stark County if I have to, but the weather is not in my favor. Without a friend like you on the air, it will be difficult. And when I'm deployed and in far off lands, who will I listen? I better download as many of those podcasts as I can before they're all gone. I'm going to have to ask Greg for the uh, Matt Patrick collection. <laughs> I'll have, I have it for you if you need it. I'll make sure you have it. <laughs> well, Matt, since February, I've known you. We've talked back and forth. You've helped me with uh, two of my events. Uh, you've been there. They've been great events. I just want to say thank you, and uh, God bless. Thank you.